Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I want to talk to you a little bit more about uh, something that occurs all the time. What if you have a really, really long run-on sentence in a VBA? Meaning, um, not that you're doing anything bad, but let's just say you have a bunch of ands, ors, and a whole bunch of uh, really long strings that you're typing in one line, and it's just going forever and ever and ever to the right. Well, there's different ways you can handle this, but I'm going to show you how you can roll over essentially to the next line and keep on going. So let's get to it. Um, in this example, we'll just take this handy dandy table, table 3 I just made, some random numbers here, and we'll analyze them and it may it may just take a second. So I'll hit Alt F11 to get into the Visual Basic Editor and we'll make a brand new macro. Uh, let me get this stuff out of the way here. All right, we're going to start a new macro right about here, and we're going to call it um, "Run On Sentence." Okay. So what we're going to analyze? Let's just say for each and every cell in how about table three? That's the table I just set up here. He said it was table three, so that'll work. Uh, do note that I put these brackets. You could also say range of table three and parentheses, but I typically opt to just use these square brackets because they are a shortened version of the evaluate formula that is native to Excel VBA. And we'll say next cell. Okay. So we're going to take each cell one at a time in the table 3 and we'll loop through them. What we're going to do is create something that's just really, really, really ridiculously long so that we need to continue the sentence on the next line. And here's how we'll do that. So if cell dot value is greater than or equal to 20 and cell dot value equals let's see is not twenty. Of course it's not gonna be twenty, but we're just making it long, right? Um, or let's see and cell dot value is not twenty one and cell dot value is not twenty three. And cell dot value is not 30. So we have all these exceptions. And now I'm going to say or. Uh oh. So now I've got a huge string of and conditions. And now I'm adding an or. Which means I, if I want all of them to be pretty much similar, I have to copy them all over. Do I really want that to go all the way out to here in left field? Or in this case, right field? No, I really don't. So what can I do? Uh, certainly visually easier to do, but what you can do is you can join that to the next line by hitting um, the underscore and hitting enter. Now I like to use an ampersand because it just helps join strings here. So you'll either have to put an ampersand here or you'll have to put one here, sometimes both, just depending on what you got going on. But then, you can copy all that stuff here, and uh, maybe say, I don't know, or if this is greater than, uh, if it's less than or equal to 20, and it's not 2, and it's not Five, all these what you know, and it, and it's not uh, sixteen, and it's not the word Shaka Zulu. Then ah, see they caught me. They said they don't like that ampersand being there. Let's try it here. Okay, I don't like.
like it there either. Maybe I didn't need an ampersand there. Sometimes you do. Okay, so uh, if if the cell is greater than or equal to 20, and it's not 20. Wait a second. That's how about if it's greater than 20, and it's not 20, and the value is not 21, it's not 23, not 30, or entirely different scenario, the cell is less than or equal to 20 and it's not 2, and it's not 5, it's not 16, and it's not Shaka Zulu. Then, then and only then, message box. How about, let's do a message box. Met criteria. And that's saying something, because that's a lot of criteria. And then I'll say end if. Okay, so that's pretty crazy. Let's try that. Hit F8. Let's do each cell in table three there. All right, so does this meet the criteria? Yeah, it does. That's wild. So number one meets the criteria. How about this one? Oh, and the number five doesn't because we said it has to not be five. How about this one? What do we got? Seven met the criteria. Great. Next one met the criteria. Next one. So anyway. That's how you join different lines. You put a little underscore there. You can also do that with comments. So sometimes people will say they'll put a, a colon or a apostrophe right there and they'll say, This is how to blah 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 and it's important that we blah 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 and doodly doodly do. But they don't want to hit enter and hit another apostrophe for whatever reason. They just want to keep on rambling, so they'll hit a space, and they'll put an underscore. Yeah, they'll put an underscore, and then they can keep on typing. And even though there's not an apostrophe right here, if I click away, you see this is all considered one block of text joined by this underscore there. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. So now you can handle a huge run on sentences and just, you know, take a break now and again. If you feel like stopping it right there. I click away, it still considers this all one giant sentence. So, for whatever reason, you may want to separate it there, and it's still one giant sentence. Thanks for watching.